If you're looking to move to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and you're looking to move somewhere a little bit more outside of the city, more in a rural setting, close to nature, close to the mountains, lakes, and rivers, then Saudi Daisy might be the place for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Evan Barron here. And on this channel, we go over all things Chattanooga, what it's like to live, eat, sleep, play, work here. And I am a licensed realtor. So as much as I love making these videos, I love helping you guys with your real estate needs even more. So in any of the ways down below, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to help. Let's get on with the video. So today we are going over Saudi Daisy, Tennessee. I get a lot of you guys calling me asking about Saudi Daisy because it is close to Chattanooga, but not that close. And, and it's not really spoken about very often. Uh, Saudi Daisy is definitely in a more rural setting. There's not a big population there. I think the population is around 13,000 people. So just based on the location, first of all, Saudi Daisy is located north of Chattanooga. It's also north of Hickson and north of, of uh, Middle Valley and it's on the west side of the Tennessee River, and it's right on the edge of the Cumberland Mountain Range. So there's Saudi Daisy, and then right next to it, uh, the Cumberland Mountain Range starts. So super close to the mountains, and with those mountains, uh, the mountains afford you rivers and streams and lakes and a lot of hiking, a lot of outdoor activities. And we'll go over that shortly, but that is one of the pros of living in Saudi Daisy is you are so close to nature and so close to all of the things that the mountains can provide you. Now, if you live in Saudi Daisy, then you're going to be 20 minutes to around 45 minutes from downtown Chattanooga. I'd say one of the cons of living in Saudi Daisy is the distance away from the highway, or this could be a pro or a con depending on what you're looking for. But if you're looking for ease of travel, then it's definitely a con living in Saudi Daisy because you don't have I-75 that you can just get on and, and get on the highway. You have Interstate 27, which you have to get on to go downtown, and then Interstate 27 meets I-75 in order to go those longer distance. So the commute times are going to be a little bit longer when you are living in Saudi Daisy. Now the average home price in Saudi Daisy is going to set you back around $285,000, and that is priced at $180 per square foot. Now the average home price in Chattanooga is $320,000. So in Saudi Daisy, you know, you're trading the distance from downtown and the distance from the city for more house for your money. And that is one of the advantages of living in Saudi Daisy. Yes, you're going to be a little bit farther from the city. Your commute times are going to be a little bit longer. However, you're going to be able to spend uh, the same amount of money for more home. Now, I recently had a client who was looking to stay a little bit closer to the city uh, because they didn't want to commute very long, but in the price range, we were looking at homes from $250,000 to around $320,000. And the homes that were closer to the city, they just did not like at all. So we decided to expand our location a little bit. So we looked at homes in Saudi Daisy and we ended up uh, going under contract and buying a home in Saudi Daisy because the houses that you can get, you can get a lot more for your money. And so they decided that that was way more important than buying a, a smaller home closer to the city. When you're looking at things to do in Saudi Daisy, you have to remember that, again, you're not very close to downtown Chattanooga. You're going to be in a more outdoor setting, uh, which is great for a lot of people who are actually looking to move here. 
a lot of times I'll get calls from people and be like, hey, I love the outdoors. I want to be super close to hikes and rivers and waterfalls and, and things of that nature. And so a lot of times I point them to Saudi Daisy and that area because in Saudi Daisy, what people do often is they go hiking, they go swimming, uh, they go uh, mountain biking, a lot of road bikers in that area as well. In that area, you have Big Saudi Creek Gulf. Uh, you have the Blue Hole, which is one of my favorite places to go during the summer because when we have those hot and humid summers, you can go to the Gulf, go to Saudi Daisy, and go to the Blue Hole and go swimming in the river, go cliff jumping, and, and that type of thing. And it's super refreshing because the water in the river is not very warm, it's actually very cold, but it's super refreshing when that water is cold and it's really hot outside. Uh, and it's a great time to have with friends and family. Now, when it comes to shopping and restaurants in Saudi Daisy, you're not gonna have that many options, right? You have the main things, right? You have a Walmart, you have a food city for groceries. And then the biggest things other than that are the Circle K, and you have like some little small town restaurants here and there, but there's not really that many places to go shopping and to buy food. There's not really many options in Saudi Daisy. However, you know, Hickson and Middle Valley is not that far away. So you can just drive 10 to 15 minutes down to Hickson and they have pretty much everything that uh, you can imagine. And again, you're gonna be probably, if you're buying a house, you're probably going to be around 20 to 30 minutes away from downtown if you want to go have a nice dinner or go party on the weekends in a nightclub or something like that if that's what you're into uh, but Saudi Daisy you're not going to be doing any of those things something that I will mention as well if you are moving out to Saudi Daisy or in a more rural area in general here in Tennessee the people are going to be a little bit more conservative right so you're going to be uh, seeing a little bit probably more guns right there's going to be people who carry guns um, and that's something to consider. It's not something to worry about at all, but if you're coming from somewhere like California or a more a liberal state where you don't see that as often in Tennessee, you're gonna see it a little bit more often. Now, it's not like people are just open carrying all the time, you're gonna see guns everywhere, but you know, guns are part of the culture here. So if you're moving to the sticks or if you're moving to more rural areas, that's just how it's gonna be. It's not something you have to worry about, just something to be aware of. In Chattanooga and more of the rural areas outside of Chattanooga, uh, it's a very live and let live kind of uh, situation and vibe, right? Like people are not shoving their opinions in your face. Just do your thing and I'll do my thing. That's how it goes around here. So that is Saudi Daisy, Tennessee. There's not much to talk about. An overview, it's more rural. There's more outdoor activities to do. Uh, there it's very close to the mountains different streams and rivers so it's a very beautiful place as you can see from the footage in this video so if you are looking to move to Saudi Daisy or anywhere in Chattanooga uh, here's my contact information down below I am a realtor uh, so I would be happy to help you with any of your real estate needs and yeah I'll see you in the next one peace